Hey friends, it's Jen at the Sunshine Farm. Today I want to talk to you about my dreams for a garden that may be completely empty right now, but will soon be coming to life. First dream we have actually already accomplished. We have garden beds, guys. So the temperatures have warmed and the snow is melting, which means it's time to get those gardens ready. Chris is moving hay right now from the goat run to the garden because we are using a little bit of the Ruth Stout method in addition to the Back to Eden method, which both methods are organic no-till. One is using straw as mulch and one is wood chips. This hay is much easier to move right now than it is normally. How come? It's so wet and heavy that I can pick up a ton of it at once and put it in and it's denser right now so I can fit more into the wheelbarrow and move it over in less trips. So Chris has just taken the hay from the goat pen and he's putting it straight down onto the garden next to some rows that we made with wood chips and we're going to be comparing the wood chips which is the back to Eden with the straw as mulch which is the Ruth Stout. We might find that certain things grow better in certain beds, but we're just going to see. We are planning to plant some potatoes into the straw. We'll have to let you guys know how that goes. We have four new 50 foot by six feet garden beds. Plus we have this one right over here, 20 feet by six feet. And then we're going to have our original garden, which is gonna have three of about 50 feet by six feet beds. It's cold. Now I've talked to you about my dreams to have a tea garden, a bunny garden, a three sisters garden. So I have a lot of dreams there too. But on top of that, I have some really big dreams for this space that don't only include what we plan to grow in it. Now, of course, what we're growing in our garden is in many ways most important. We wanna feed ourselves good, fresh food straight from our backyard. But to me, the garden holds so much more than just the food that is grown. And those are the dreams I wanna to talk to you about today. You see this tree right behind me? This tree is casting a lot of shade on this space. So unfortunately, it's going to have to go. But instead of just cutting it down and pulling out the roots, we're actually just gonna leave the stump and it's gonna be a little end table for a bench that's gonna go in this area. I wanna do an arched trellis of sorts over the area and plant climbing roses. And then right back there, we're gonna put a little garden shed. That is just the beginning of my dreams for a space that offers peace, relaxation, reflection, tranquility. So many things that are more than just food alone. Now, over on the other side of this initial garden is going to be the Three Sisters plot. I changed it up a little bit because of where the sun is positioned. So my initial watercolor drawing is no longer accurate in any way, but it was sure fun to paint. I'll have to do an updated paint with what it actually came out to be once I make all the decisions. And then of course we have that area behind me, which is our side yard, and then going into our front yard. That's going to be our permaculture food forest and orchard, where we're going to be planting all sorts of fruit and nut trees, berry shrubs, perennial plants, ground cover, and 
While I envision the joy of that space being geared around picking fresh food, I also just imagine like evening walks and morning walks in just a beautiful space. So it's not just what it's feeding us physically, but also what it's offering us spiritually, emotionally, mentally, all those wonderful things that are just as important as what we eat, but what we are feeding our soul. Oh, walking over the beds while I can, because soon we will have stuff planted in there and I'm not going to be wanting to smush it all. I'm going to walk over and show you guys what we're thinking for the garden shed. Still cold, guys. Cold and windy in my ears. That's why I'm wearing a hat today. My ears get so cold. <laughs> why in the world am I taking you to a soccer goal post? Well, this is our garden shed. Just like this. Just kidding. We're gonna turn this frame, this goal post frame into a garden shed. And I have dreams about having tables in there where I can store things, where I can dry herbs and garlic in the summer. And on the outside having a potting bench and maybe a wash station where we can wash produce and get it ready to come in the house having lots of soil ready to go in there, and of course, all the garden tools that are needed. And just all that good stuff that can get really easily misplaced when you don't have a central area to put it. So this is going to help us with that. I don't know when we're gonna get to that. It might be a while, but it's pretty cool to dream about. And there's one more area I'm really excited to talk to you guys about, a romantic, relaxing garden space. That area right there? Not so exciting right now, but one day I'm confident it's going to be an oasis. I put in a concrete pad and then around the concrete pad is going to be raised boxes that we can plant flowers and herbs and all that good stuff. And then right here, I want to put an arch trellis, plant some climbing roses over that, and that will be the entrance into the garden. On that concrete pad we'll put a little table, some chairs, a place to relax. All around it is going to be the boxes with the herbs and flowers. And then outside of the boxes I'm going to be planting perennial herbs and perennial flowering plants, peonies, lavender, rosemary, oregano, all sorts of things that come back every year and that will end up growing over time. And to top it all off, we want to string like a high tensile wire all the way across over to that fence and hang stringed lights over the garden, over the entire garden. How romantic would that be, guys? To be able to harvest in the evening, twilight with twinkling lights above us, to walk around the garden and just enjoy the beauty that it holds. Oh, and one day? The area over there in the back of our house, I want to add another concrete pad next to the original one and put it in a jacuzzi. Well friends, I hope you enjoyed hearing about my garden dreams, the hopes and the vision for what that space can be here at the Sunshine Farm. I would love to hear about your dreams, plans, and hopes for your garden space, whether it has to do with food or not. Comment below let me know. I can't wait to hear from you. If you liked hearing about my dreams for the garden, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It's so appreciated. I love hearing what you think. Also, please hit the subscribe button so you can see this vision of mine come to life here at our farm. It was so fun sharing this with you guys and I can't wait to share our next video. Bye friends.